we have to solve and graph the inequality 2 multiplied by the quantity m take away 5 minus 3 times the quantity of 2m take away 5 is less than 5 times m plus 1. So the first thing that we are going to do with this inequality is to rewrite it by simplifying it a bit. So if you notice, we have a couple of situations within this inequality where we can apply the distributive property. So right here, we can multiply 2 times m and 2 times 5, which would give us 2m minus 10. And right here, we have 3 times 2m, which is 6m, but we have a minus sign here, so we have to write minus 6m. And then we have 3 times 5. But because we have a minus sign in front of this 3, we have to consider this 3 a negative value. And because 5 has a minus sign in front of it as well, we have to consider this 5 a negative value as well. So negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15. And then we're just going to bring down the rest of our inequality, which is less than 5m plus 1. Now we're going to simplify this side of our inequality a bit further. We can start by combining the like terms of 2m and minus 6m. So if we consider this 2m a positive value and this 6m a negative value, we have four more negatives than we do positives. So when combining 2m and negative 6m, that would leave us with negative 4m. And we can combine minus 10 and plus 15, which would result in plus 5. Next, we just bring down the rest of our inequality, which is 5 times m plus 1. Now, notice we have a variable on both sides of our inequality symbol. So what we have to do is get that variable on one side of our inequality. So we can start by getting rid of the 5m on this side and sending it over to that side to combine it with the negative 4m. So right beneath 5m, let's write negative 5m, which is the opposite, and that will completely cancel itself out. And right underneath negative 4m, we write negative 5m. If we combine these terms together, that would give us negative 9m. But we still have this plus 5 over here. And on the right-hand side of our inequality, all we have remaining is positive 1. The next thing we can do is move this plus 5 over to the right by doing the opposite, which is to subtract 5. Now what we have on the left-hand side is just negative 9m. And on the other side of our less than symbol, we have positive 1 and negative 5, which is a result of negative 4. Now the next thing that we have to do is isolate for the m variable by dividing negative 9 by itself. Because negative 9 and m are being multiplied, we just divide negative 9 by itself. Our goal is to get positive 1m at the end, so we can read that as it is a solution. But we have to be careful. Whenever you divide by a negative, you have to reverse the direction of your inequality symbol. So we have to change this less than symbol to a greater than symbol. And we also have to divide the other side by negative 9 as well. And whenever you divide a negative by a negative, the result will always be positive. And because what we see here just looks like a normal fraction, we just write it as if it were a regular fraction. And now that we have m isolated all by itself with no negative in front of it, we have a positive 1m. We have found our solution, which is m could be any value that we wish as long as it is greater than positive 4 ninths. Now we still have to graph our inequality, so let's start by making a number line. So let's just draw a line right there. And on either side of it, we have to draw an arrow. And positive 4 ninths is somewhere in between 0 and positive 1. 
So I could just put like a zero here, a one here, and a negative one right here. And four ninths is a little bit less than one half. And one half would be right here. So just going a little bit before that, we can make a little mark and we can make a circle. But that circle must remain open because four ninths is actually not a possible solution that would satisfy our inequality. The value of m has to be greater than four ninths. So we have to leave the circle open. Now, if the symbol had an equal to as part of it, then we would shade in this circle. And we have to draw an arrow that is going to the right on our number line because the solutions have to be greater than positive 4 ninths. And that is how you would solve and graph the given inequality.